you are the founder of a Twist magazine. Why people should read it? Well, Twist is another concept about a fashion magazine. One of the things that, uh, we try to do is to create uh, some kind of connection between people that are very relevant for the fashion industry and new, new names that um, might be very, very relevant in the future. It's a magazine where you can find very sharp photography. Where is Twist readership mainly located? Our top five countries are Spain, Mexico, Brazil, uh, the US and the Russian Federation. What is a weakness that you can notice in other magazines that Twist doesn't have? We are not uh, engaged with uh, any big names on advertisement companies. So the kind of information we, we give is very much based in a shop point of view without, uh, without having to respect some moral codes that most of the magazines can do. You had other uh, work experience uh, in the past, uh, not related with fashion. What do you miss from your previous jobs and what you don't? Money is what I miss <laughs> perhaps from my previous jobs. I was um, working as a business manager and related with financial activities and I've been doing this for quite a few years when I understood that there was more outside and I would like to understand another point of view about living our life. So, fashion industry has got some timelines, especially the luxury companies with two collections plus resort and pre-fall accessories. The magazines need to be shop and edit online and do it on paper and having huge kind of people that needs to be surveillance every day. So it's very much like a management job. The only question is that you're not dealing with um, executive boards every day and it's more creative part of it. That's make it thrilling but also more um, complicated. You attend many fashion weeks which are not in the main fashion capitals. What's the most common mistakes they make? But I think they must create a fashion week that also helps designers before the fashion week and after the fashion week. I think it would be much better for all of them if they work more more closely, uh, not only during this week, but to work properly advertising and helping and perhaps consulting with them. I think these connections are fundamental because we're talking here is about fashion, so and fashion is about fashion designers and it's everything very connected. And which ones of those secondary fashion weeks do you consider the most interesting? I think Portuguese fashion industry is really strong. I mean, there's a narrative about textiles and, and shoe companies that have been, I don't know, in Portugal for 100 years. They have very good designers, the, the product is contemporary, it's clean, it's very well done, with very good fabrics. I think Portugal perhaps is one of the most relevant I know. Um, there are also, um, Riga Fashion Week is doing the job for 10 years, it's an opportunity then to establish and they are very very close to Russia which is a huge market as well as Poland. They do it in wood for I believe four or five years right now so far. Generally speaking Paris is associated with the uh, couture. Milan with the sartorial, the sartorial tradition of the made in Italy mm -hmm. while Scandinavian fashion and something minimalist in, in the south. In this sense is there a trade dominating the Riga Fashion Week? If you want to associate that uh, today on fashion, you don't need to. I mean, you can find a, a fashion show that uh, can have all of that in any, any country, especially in France, Italy or New York. Um, I think Riga still needs to find the identity and to establish the right bridge between culture, his culture, its uh, heritage and what is contemporary. Is there any designers during this Riga Fashion Week that you're really curious to see? Yes, <clears throat> there are um, two or three designers, one of them we already saw, 
um, M. Gutiu and he present a very, very, very good evolution from the Spring Summer Collection. Uh, and there is um, Alexandra Westphal, which is a young Latvian designer that also has been in touch with Italy and she very well uh, understands um, contemporary shapes and fabrics with uh, modernity, so it's very fresh to see her work. And then there is another, I think, the most relevant name so far in the Baltic Fashion Federation, and that is uh, Ula Pojanemo. She's from Estonia, and she also takes part of the of the of the fashion week and uh, I think the quality of her work, the sharpest tailoring, the most luxurious favorites and everything is done in a way that it's so correct. It's it's really uh, another point. I think it's the highest point of the fashion week.